everyone, so we've got a new video for you today which is all about our dining experiences on our recent trip to Walt Disney World in November. And the reason we're making this video, when we went along and did the um, new style of vlogs, a lot of the information I feel like is kind of lost because the new vlogs are more of a story and usually I would talk about dining kind of while we're there and things like that. So we thought we'd make this video so that we can both tell you kind of what we had, what our favourites were. We're going to do it in like a top 10 format. Um, and yeah, basically just let you know what we ate and whether it was nice and all that kind of thing. So we'll get right into it because we've got quite a lot of restaurants to cover because we were there for two weeks. So we'll go in at 10, obviously down to one. So number 10, obviously our lists are different. So we'll see what we've got. I've got Paradiso 37. I've got Le Cellier. Okay, so we'll take Le Cellier first and yeah. then we'll talk about it. So, Le Cellier, for those of you who don't know, is in Epcot in the Canada Pavilion and it's a steakhouse. It is considered a signature restaurant, so it's two credits on the dining plan. We were just paying, so we weren't on the dining plan, but if you are, it is two credits. And it's a little more expensive. Um, we actually didn't have steak. <laughs> feel like we probably people are like you went there and you didn't why? Have steak but... yeah why would you do that um but yeah if you um it's say a, what you have it's a really really lovely um sort of building um you're in like a like a wine cellar mm -hmm. um i had one of the was it the classic poutine i had yes the classic and, poutine and we actually we both had the same we had the cheddar cheese soup yeah. and then we each had one of the poutines yeah um i think the other one we had was uh, the French pr yeah. Uh, yeah. Pr protein, protein, um, which was I think Gruyere cheese. Is that how you yeah, say it? Gruyere and cheese, yeah. um, yeah. some sort of other onion, French onion sauce or something. And I have to say, it was all so rich. It, it, what, that would be my only kind of. Um, I mean, it, it's not criticism because that's it what, what it is. We chose, yeah. um, it was really, really rich. Just so did the flavours were so so good. So good. Um, maybe I'm just not great at eating vast quantities of really rich food. Um, no. But it, the flake, just so good, just so, so, I mean, what's yeah. not to like, I'm from the Midlands, so cheese and <laughs> chips and gravy, what's not to like, exactly. but this is like swanky pants, yeah. cheese, chips and gravy. It was good. Really good. And I think the total cost was not that bad because the poutines, I think, were maybe like $10 or something. Yeah, 12, 10 or $12, I think. And then like the that. soup. Um, very similar yeah. and yeah we just I think I had a cocktail and stuff but it was it was not too bad at all um, and obviously we still got the experience but without mm. paying the crazy prices yeah. but yeah we did kind of walk out of there like oh my gosh I can't and eat another thing for at least oh, oh. 10 minutes and then obviously yeah you also <laughs> then go and eat something else yeah. but we also had the maple creme brulee oh. which was so good I love that creme brulee they've had it for years it there it was amazing yeah so so good it's amazing that that one wasn't higher but when we actually put these lists together we could barely <sighs> even decide what should be it's, on it it was so difficult it's so hard everything we had was really good so it if, was if you're tricky. putting stuff in you know literally just the food itself it's a different list than going yes. for the dining yeah. experience because obviously Le Cellier is such a lovely experience it, it you know if you're going on where's the nicest place to eat it would be in the top three probably mm -hmm. but just on pure specific dishes that we had yeah, we've kind of gone for food rather than yeah. overall experience in this list. Um, we, we've taken that into account, but it's mainly based on food. Yeah. So Paradiso 37, uh, which was my number 10. Uh, a lot of people don't necessarily go there. I think there's so many restaurants at Disney Springs now, especially with all the new ones. Um, I've always really loved it there. I went in 2011, which was my first trip with Ian. And ever since then, I've just really liked it for one particular reason. They have a dish called, um, I think it's Central American Crazy Corn. I think that's what it's called. Um, it's definitely called Crazy Corn of some description. And it's basically corn on the cob with loads of melted cheese and red pepper, uh, sorry, yellow pepper sauce. It's a theme, it is isn't it? so cheese. good. Oh my it's gosh, yeah, we're obsessed with cheese. <laughs> and Ian hates cheese, so I was like so having had, cheese yeah. everywhere on this trip. Yeah. It was <laughs> so, so good. And I always get that. Um, I think I got that and some truffle fries. And I think Becky had- um, Wasabi fries. Wasabi fries, yeah. which I was trying to stay away from because I was were worried. They really nice. You, you had a few by accident. And I you did. were like, oh, they, these are actually okay. They, they weren't, weren't They spicy. weren't blow your head off. They were just really good. They were good. Yeah. Um, and the other thing you had were the- Colombian arepa cakes. Yeah, some, yeah. Yeah, they were like pulled pork. Y yeah, it things. was like three little piles of Tasty, <laughs> tasty goodness. Um, yeah. Like a real sort of nice sort of citrusy um, 
dressing on the top, really good. Mm. Really, and the view overlooking Saratoga Springs, oh, yeah. It's just such a, we've sat really in a window, um, really good. Um, so that food was so good, and also um, all of those items we just talked about were from the appetizer and side menu. We did that a lot this trip, yeah. where we didn't actually order main meals, because you're so full all the time, and you're eating <laughs> yeah. at all these places, so sometimes the appetizers are a little bit better size-wise, so that you're not kind of walking out of every place, like feeling yeah. like you can't breathe. Um, so yeah, that was definitely um, up there, mainly because of the crazy corn yeah, for me. That was good. So I did, I did sample a little bit. It was Ooh. good. It was so good. <laughs> so that was ten. So number nine um, for me was the Mara. So these are a mixture of counter service and table service. So the Mara is over at Animal Kingdom Lodge, and it's the counter service place there. The Ooh. menu is not that big, I will say. There's not tons of choices like there are at the Value Resorts. Yeah. Um, but we shared a. A tomato flatbread and a chicken flatbread oh my goodness i'm obviously going to insert photos as we're talking best flatbread so good ever. i mean yeah i guess even though it's like an italian style thing mm -hmm. and the mara isn't an italian type no, of restaurant no. or counter service place oh, it was so good the it was flavors just so good. were amazing like there was so much yeah. flavor in yeah. in what effectively is a cheese and tomato pizza yeah so that definitely was up there for me what yeah. was your number nine my number nine was deluxe burger wow yeah, Deluxe oh. Burger is, um, so over at Disney Springs, um, it is a quick service restaurant and it's fairly new, it's not been there that long of a time, it's so good, it's not that cheap I have to say for a quick service, so if you are on the dining plan it's great value because you're obviously getting a lot for your credit, if you're paying obviously it's quite expensive but I think they do annual pass discount and DVC discount and stuff like mm -hmm. that. It was amazing. I had the, I think, Southwest or Southwestern burger, I think it was called, which has um, pimento cheese and a fried green tomato. Oh my gosh, it was so <laughs> good. It was, I was honestly like yeah. just so excited by this burger. Ian cannot wait to go there. He was very, I very feel, jealous. I feel quite excited that I went there before Ian yeah. did. I so, think we messaged him and he was like, what? <laughs> this is so unfair. Um, I had a menu um, item from the children's section, yep. which was a mini burger, but yep. it was not a mini burger. It was a good size. It was like one quite large yep. burger, I would say. And not as big as the main. The fries, yep. oh my gosh, they were so good. Yep. I could have just eaten, I could have just eaten those, to be honest. Yeah, they were. And <laughs> so um, good. another good thing about Deluxe, they have all these different dipping sauces and they you can just get them for free. I you don't pay extra. I love a good condiment. I am, you are obsessed I am, with sauce. I was sauce. in my element. Yeah, yep. it was great. So we basically got <laughs> most of them, I think. And yeah. They they were amazing. So yeah, that was really good. Um, I can highly, highly recommend Deluxe Burger. Yeah, it was again, just amazing. For sure. Yeah. I feel bad that it's number nine. I feel bad yeah. that the Cellier was number ten. Bearing in mind we went to lots of different places. Mm. Um, it's just hard being to Being ten is still amazing. It's not like ten was the worst and first was the best. Yeah, that's another thing to mention. These aren't all the places we went to. These were just the ones that made the cut, yeah. which was hard to, yeah. hard to do. So number eight for me was Yak and Yeti. Um, you guys will probably remember um, from previous videos, I love Yak and Yeti, I talk about it all the time, and I had to take Becky there because I knew <laughs> she would love it as well. And yeah, it's always, it's so consistent. I, I've been there probably, I don't know, however many times, it is always so good, and I get the same sort of dishes, and they're always the same, um, never sort of a bit off one day rather than the other, it's just always, always good. Um, and what was your? I had um, the lettuce cups. Yes, we had lettuce cups, and we shared the wok fried green oh, beans. They were just so good. Yes, oh, they are my. amazing. You can pretend they're healthy because it's got the word green bean. And I it. Say it probably are. isn't. I don't care. It was just. Oh wow! So good. Again, it's wow. an appetizer, so you can definitely split it. Yes, yeah, there's for sure. a lot of for them. Sure. Um, and then your main, the lettuce cups, is also an yeah. appetizer. I think it's meant for two people. I but think you in, had it as a, a when I have dish. it from the local Chinese place, which is not as good, obviously. I think they call it something like yok yok shom. Yok shom, yeah, something. it's a similar type thing. Really to that. good. Again, a little bit on the expensive side, I would say it's on the dining plan. So if you're on the dining plan, also a really good option for your credit. It's a table service restaurant, yeah. and it's in the Asia section of Animal Kingdom. Um, I do get a lot of questions from people who are really unsure where to eat in Animal Kingdom. They're not sure about <laughs> the options. There's not all that many table service restaurants to choose from. Um, I always recommend Yak and Yeti. Mm -hmm. If you have children, then Tusker House could be a good option, but the food at Yak and Yeti is so good. So if you get the chance to go there, definitely do it because it's so good. My number seven is landscape of flavors which is the 
the dining area at um, Art of Animation. The amount of staff they have, the choices, and to be quite honest, that you know the value of the food, the value of, that you get, it's just amazing. Mm. So good. It can be quite busy though. I think yes. when we <laughs> went there the first time, we'd literally just arrived, so it was our first sort of dining experience, and it was really quiet, and we were like, wow, this is really nice. We did go back there again um, further on in the trip, yeah. and it was very, very busy. But, very busy. You know, it's going to be busy. They've got lots of tills. You're not count. You're not sort of stood there waiting for ages. So, the fact that it's busy is just a noise, really. Mm. For a food court, um, which you normally think of as just being kind of grab something, um, mm. you know, you don't necessarily eat there every night. But it was so good. It's one of the newer ones, and the like Becky was saying, the options are amazing. Mm. It's all served on. Um, uh, plates rather than um, paper and you get normal cutlery all that kind of thing yeah. so it's a bit more good. like a sit down experience in that sense obviously it's not you go up and get your own food but really really good and I think they do that for just being um, good for the environment rather than using mm. paper which I think is really mm. good I think that's the purpose of doing that anyway so I had the create your own pasta it is so so good um, you can choose the sauce the pasta what you have on top um, amazing such good value I think it was maybe I want to say $12 something like that um, in that region so kind of, you know, not cheap, cheap um, for uh, quick service, but so worth it. If I'd have been given that meal in a sit-down restaurant, I would have thought it yeah. was incredible. Well, so it was so good that the next yeah. time we went, I actually copied and oh, had it so too. Good. Um, and then my number, is this seven? Yeah. Landscape of Flavours. There we go. There you go. Oh, well, mate. Oh. Have we missed one? I think we've missed one. Oh, dang. So we have just realised that that was actually number eight, not number seven. So that's our bad. Number eight. <laughs> no, so, seven. What? No. Wait, hang on. <laughs> that, so we've just realised that was actually number eight, not number seven, as we said. So sorry for the confusion, that was number eight. I didn't write numbers on my list. I know, who does that when you're doing the top ten? So moving on now to number seven. And number seven for me was Landscape of Flavours, which we've just talked about, so we won't go through that again. Your number seven? Uh, Las Ventanas was my number seven. Yes. Nobody's really heard of it that I know of. Um, it's at Coronado Springs Resort. It's a sit-down restaurant, restaurant, kind of like hidden away a little mm. bit. And I don't know how I discovered it, but I s somehow did and made a reservation there, which it turned out we needn't have bothered because <laughs> we were the only people in there. It was like, yeah, VIP dining. Yeah. Totally... Um, literally absolutely literally absolutely no one, no one else, in there else. from the minute we got in there to the minute we left yeah. so they were just there serving us lunch yeah, by ourselves it was lovely, um, it, really was lovely. it was really good <laughs> and it's a really lovely restaurant um in the way it's decorated the yeah. way it's laid out and the food was so oh. good um i had a gourmet grilled cheese which was um various different cheeses and bacon on sourdough bread and the wedges that it came with. Oh, they were oh my so gosh. good. I've forgotten about those wedges. Yeah, they oh. were incredible. Oh. Um, not very expensive either, no, um, no. which was great. And you had a... Uh, like a um, noodles, like a, a noodle bowl. Mm -hmm. um, that was delicious. A everything about it was, it was really fresh and really yeah. crisp. Um, the sauce, it was quite... Um, not, I don't want to say spicy. It was yeah, quite hot, it was a quite chilly, hot. but I... chilly is that even a... <laughs> anyway, it is now. It was yeah. quite chilly. Um, Really good, really mm. good though. And the the waiters, they weren't sort of because we were the only people. They weren't hovering and being irritating and you know kind of cross that we were there ruining their chilled out afternoon. So that was amazing. Yeah. So number six, what did you have for number six? My number six is the Satuli Canteen in the Pandora area. Yes. Oh my gosh. So just really beautiful. Um, you really feel like you could be in you Pandora, know, Pandora um, yeah. which is basically the whole feeling as soon as you walk through into that area. Oh it's yeah. Utterly immersive. Amazing. Uh, amazing. Um I ordered the cheese um burger pods and we ordered the kids version and um, because again we have been eating so much on this trip we just thought no we'll eat the the kids one because yeah. it's one rather than two yeah. it comes with vegetable chips and that, that's a good thing about this place the menu is very unique i understand yeah. it's quite good for vegan um, and vegetarian and ver various different dietary requirements mm -hmm. that you might have um but yeah we went for the kids cheeseburger pod it was so so good it literally tasted like a cheeseburger it, they had the ketchup taste the pickle yeah, taste it was it was perfect um, the cheese, it was so perfect. yeah it was so so good we really enjoyed that and the setup was great there so it's a quick service yeah. um again really good use of a credit you can do mobile ordering yeah. which we did at this place really we tested good. out the mobile ordering yeah. if you're doing that you can't do that if you're on the dining plan only if you're paying um, and obviously you pay by card which is connected to your my disney experience account um, but you can order when you're elsewhere in the park and then you just click to yeah. say i'm now here um 
get my order ready basically so it's really really good and but you don't have to do it that way you can just walk up yeah. and order it wasn't crazy queues or, no, or anything like that it was very yeah. well done there were yeah. loads and loads of registers to go to so um, very efficient mm -hmm. and then you just go and get your own drink um, so yeah, really, really good. We also had the blueberry um, oh, mousse. That was great. Well, you, that was we so had the, I had a little taste of that because I decided not to go for that. But yeah, it it looks really shiny and beautiful, and mm. you just you don't know what kind of texture you, the food's going to be. This, it's, yeah. it's really, really unique. Amazing, amazing amazing experience sorry about that battery went so my number six was deluxe burger obviously we've already talked about that so we don't need to go through that again I'm so good we could talk about it again <sighs> we could so, so good. good i wish burger. i could eat that right now it's lunchtime <laughs> oh, and I'm like, oh, yeah. this is making me hungry i haven't had a burger since we came back i don't think i have i don't think anything would be compare so yeah. good um so next up number five for me is via napoli and oh my gosh via napoli again you guys know it's one of my favorites I love pizza and it is such good pizza. It yeah. is amazing. And as always, we ordered the large pizza yeah. between the two of us. If you go there, do that. Totally the worth individual it. ones yeah. are not as good. Order a large between two people. Um, if you're paying, that makes it a lot cheaper. If you're on dining plan, I guess you could go for the individual ones. But if there's two of you and you're paying, definitely yeah. it's cheaper to get the large one. You can get half and half yeah. with the toppings. We did that, didn't we? Um, I think yeah. we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, because you had the four cheese on your half extra cheese please just all the cheese and i had the mushroom and ham or something yeah uh, it was nice that the face wasn't oh. because she i don't like mushrooms but you know she hates mushrooms, i can pick yeah. them off it's fine but it was so so good it was amazing as always again it's very consistent i've never been there and had anything bad um i think i had a drink i, I think i drank alcohol like most meals <laughs> you probably didn't but i did um, most just mm, just a few mm. Just a few. They had a glass of wine. It was very nice. I think you did. Have a glass um, of wine. And you had a dessert. Actually, you had. Um, oh, oh, the pistachio yes. gelato. Yeah. <gasps> wow. I didn't have any, but it. Wow. But did I taste it? I think I did. It's no, yeah, I, didn't. I don't know. Probably I did get your spoon. No, no, no. I did taste it. I did have a tiny taste. It was <laughs> it really, was really good. good. Yeah. It was so good. Um, again, price-wise, when you first look at the um, menu, you do kind of think, "Oh my gosh, that seems very expensive for pizza." But again, if you're on the dining plan, it's a good value. Mm -hmm. If you're not, go for the large, split it. Then it's not definitely, as expensive. Um, and I, I think I've got to say, it's a table service restaurant. If you didn't know oh, that. Oh yes, and our, our waiter. Yes, we had a rather um, attractive waiter. Okay, and he was probably about. I don't know, twenty. So you way feel too a young, bit like a, way too young for me to be thinking he's attractive. Yeah, but he was. He was lovely as well. Yeah. Your number five. Oh, my number five was toothsome chocolate and <gasps> Yes, that is higher up the list for me. As you'll yeah. hear in a minute, that was so good, so so good. So that's at Universal. Also. Food amazing, and just like the actual restaurant itself. Everything Theming there is, is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. It's like a steampunk chocolate explosion yeah basically yeah that yeah. is a, that is a good summation of what it's like <laughs> um but yeah it's the food there was so good i have had a few people um because i posted a video um of a, like an overview of it um so again that's at universal orlando and it's between the two theme parks where mm. hard rock cafe is and yeah amazing i ordered um something that i'd seen someone else eating in a video <laughs> and it was so good it was the chicken bourguign i never say this bourguignon bourguignon, bourguignon. bourguignon. <laughs> um it was so good it was amazing yeah, some people have said nice. their food was that not great but perhaps they didn't order that because it that was, was so i did good. have a little taste of that and it was i can assess, yeah. very, very amazing good. we also yeah. had um i had a cheddar and broccoli soup which was delicious oh the almond chocolate almond bread yeah you had the bread oh, you, i don't know how you could possibly that's not a starter it's a huge piece of bread. Yeah, like a. Uh, I think it's. I guess it's supposed to be shared, but you just went for it on I your was own. Just sharing that. No, it was, no, it was really lovely. I did have a really, taste. Really, really it lovely. was really nice. Yeah. Not not like ridiculously chocolatey, but no, just the, a chocolate sort of hint. Flavor was mm. there. Yeah, it's good. Uh, so yeah, the soup was amazing. It was like a very thick soup. Um, really nice pieces of broccoli. Mm. Um, then it had like melty cheese on top as well. It was like cheese fest. <laughs> it's so good. Um, and then for, oh, we then made the. I say oh. a mistake. You have to have dessert because basically you're in a chocolate factory. Come on, yeah, people. You, you have to. But oh my goodness, I had the strawberry cheesecake uh, milkshake as a dessert, and it came out looks amazing. It has a chunk of cheesecake in the top. The cream that is in it, which normally I would think of as just like whipped yeah. squirty cream, not whipped squirty. It was cream. more like clotted cream clotted cream or like frosting it was so sweet but really thick like you needed a spoon yeah. to like eat it was honestly <laughs> like so by the time i'd had a bit of the cream off the top i was basically done yeah. like i could barely so i had a few sips of the actual milkshake and a little taste of the cheesecake but by the time i tried to make my best <laughs> effort 
I was floored. I almost yeah. had to crawl on my hands and knees out of that restaurant. <laughs> it was honestly, it was, it was, it was that, terrible. Yeah. We were so <laughs> full, it was ridiculous. That was the only time on the trip, apart I, from maybe another one I'm thinking of, but oh, we haven't talked about yeah. that yet, where I was so full I couldn't breathe. Yeah, it was really, it was really that. bad. So I probably shouldn't have had an appetizer <laughs> in hindsight. Yeah, but you, you know, it's, cheddar and broccoli soup. Yeah, I so, had um, yeah. the tochos, which is like tater tots and nachos, kind of a weird hybrid um delicious cheese, crispy bacon yeah crispy bacon cheese on little bits of potato awesome tater top yeah really really nice mm -hmm. um and i had and this was the only bit that was disappointing it was yeah i went for creme brulee because creme so we all know creme brulee tappy tappy top lovely mm. it was not a tappy tappy top it was like a mousse wasn't it, it there was, was no if crunchy I, top if i had ordered chocolate mousse i would have been very pleased mm -hmm. with the chocolate mousse that arrived I, however, I did not order chocolate mousse, yeah. and I'm not a massive fan of chocolate mousse. And I did the thing, I thought, okay, I can't complain because... I was saying to Becky, <sighs> tell them that it's not what you... It's yeah, not right, it's not got the hard top, and it it's not... It didn't have the hard top, but I... So I did, I, mm -hmm. I thought, I'm a grown-up, come on now. Sort yeah. yourself out. Well. She took it out, she bought it back, and, you know, okay, it was a bit crispier on the top. It still wasn't creme brulee, to be honest, but no. whatever. Then, of course, I felt indebted that I should eat it. So you were desperately <laughs> trying like, to eat it. Oh, I'm going to die with the chocolate overload. So that one was one of the more expensive meals that yeah. we had. Um, yeah. that, but we did have, in fairness, we had a cocktail. Yeah. We had... Oh, yeah. Um, I, I completely forgot, I completely like forgot that. Yeah, I had like a peach type cocktail. And I had a um, espresso... Espresso martini. Yeah. Oh, so we had that, then we had the appetizers, good. then we had entrees, and then we had dessert. So I don't think it would have been the most expensive meal if no, we hadn't had all of those things. No, um, so I don't think it's especially expensive. It depends what you order. Yeah. Uh, but really, really great. Yeah. Loved it. So at number four for me was The Wave. And I feel bad putting it at number four. You guys know, again, I love The Wave. We go every single trip. We yeah. had breakfast there before going to the Magic Kingdom. And as always, it's consistent. So good. I've never been oh. there and had bad food. In fact, it seems to just get better every single time <laughs> I go. The only thing they didn't have this time were the little um, juice things they bring out. It's normally like a different flavour. They didn't bring that this time. But it was fine. I already had like orange juice and coffee and who knows what else <laughs> going on. I had it Mickey Waffles so for the first time. Mm -hmm. Totally brilliant. First Mickey Waffles Really Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And those little parfaits that were in like a little glass dish. They, that they, was they great. Are so good. Oh. Yeah. And the wave is at the Contemporary Resort on really the bottom beautiful. floor. And yeah, really so lovely. good. It's walkable from the Magic Kingdom, um, just on the pathway there. It's a table service and they do accept dining plan as well. So, but then it's not very expensive if you're paying and they also do accept um, annual pass discount, I think, yeah. and uh, maybe some DVC discount as well. So that was my number four. What was your four? Uh, my number four was, um, Viennapoli. No, it wasn't. Yeah, Viennapoli. Viennapoli. We We've so. already been there. Um, so number three, Trails End. That's the same as mine. Ah, number three, Trails End. Excellent. Again, I feel like I'm just <laughs> repeating myself. You guys know I love Trails End. We also go there every single trip. Again, consistent. It's always, always good. They have so many different like meats, fried chicken, ribs. Um, you obviously tried all that. I don't really eat a lot of meat, um, so I go for like carbs and veggies every time. Um, and it's so, so good. They have great salads. Um, like I say, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes. Um, vegetables, just it's so good. I'm really hungry so now. I know. We should not be making this at lunchtime. It's oh. lunchtime. Why are we doing? But then this? what we're gonna have for lunch is gonna be what a pot, a pot noodle, noodle or something. <laughs> Actually, I have pot noodles <laughs> in the cupboard. How sad. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, Trails End. You can go there for breakfast. Oh. Um, they also have um, lunch is a la carte, so it's not the buffet at lunch. Then for dinner, it is a buffet. It's over at Fort Wilderness Resorts. So a little bit tricky to get to. Mm, you do that, need that to. That is the only thing. Yeah. Isn't it? It's you know it is because if, if you drive um or get a bus from a different or a bus an uber from a different resort you then need to get an internal bus to get over to the settlement to the restaurant if you go across the magic kingdom you need to get a boat across so it's not right there it's it's a little bit out of the way but so worth it very good value for money if you're yeah. paying it's on the dining plan again uh, but yeah, it's there's something for everybody. I feel like there, it's you it's, know even if you've got very picky busy. eaters, it is very but yeah. But because you can pick what you like, you you mm -hmm. do. The, I don't know if everyone else has this same attitude to buffet. So you go along, you have like a little morsel of all the things, mm -hmm. and you eat all of that, and then you decide what you're actually going to have a big. All I mean, you just have yeah. a ton of mac and cheese. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was like mac and cheese. I do I love mac and cheese. That. Mm -hmm. It is my favourite. <laughs> but yeah, it was very busy the night that we went. Usually yeah. it's not that bad, but it was um, very busy. And they have a full bar as well, so you can get cocktails yeah. and stuff. And included in the buffet are soft drinks. Yeah. And they have like everything, sodas, juices, tea, coffee. You yeah. can have whatever you want. Loved it. Really good. Trouser and amazing winner. so number two for me was toothsome chocolate emporium which we've already talked about what was number two for you my number two was the wave i am a breakfast fiend yeah what of course say? number two so we've already gone there and number one i think we both have the same thing and it won't come as any surprise to anyone who watches my videos ohana, ohana. uh ohana oh. is my favorite restaurant always i love the food there oh, it is just just the Best. We love the restaurant, obviously, um, oh. and the atmosphere is amazing. But the food Brilliant. for me is the reason it's number one. Absolutely. Yeah, it, they um, could serve this sitting ugh. on a park bench, and I'd still pick it because exactly, it's just the best. So good. The pot stickers. I was are just about to say pot one. stickers. Oh my, they are amazing. Whoa. And obviously, the chicken. So the meats were so good. So the yeah. chicken was not dry, very flavourful. The steak was very oh, like steak. well cooked. Oh. I don't eat it, but Becky oh. said it was amazing. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not a massive steak fiend. I've probably not really eaten that many steaks in my life, but this steak was mm -hmm. just. From what I could tell, I don't oh, eat it, but it looked whoa. very well cooked. It's just amazing. And obviously you get the amazing. noodles, you get the salad, um, bread, um, vegetables. It's such a lot of food, yeah. go hungry. And um, it is a little bit pricey, I would say, because it's very popular. Mm. It can be difficult to get a reservation if you want to eat there book 180 days out because otherwise you get stuck with awkward times like 9 30. they do take dining plan it's a very very good use of a dining plan credit because obviously it's quite pricey is it only one credit it's one credit yeah whoa which that's is quite amazing surprising. that is the best definitely the best value then it is good credits. value and yeah, sure. you get your drinks included um not alcoholic although um now if you are going um, on dining plan you will get an alcoholic drink included if you're bar if you're paying um then you won't obviously you just get the soft drinks included you have to buy your alcohol it's the very plan. strong let me just say. oh yes yeah the drinks are strong there Ooh. the cocktails uh but yeah absolutely amazing love just love love so ohana i think i mentioned it's at the polynesian resort if i didn't that's where it is uh, the, the um, pudding where they get like the banana oh banana, bread thing, the banana and they've bread got pudding. like a, a little jug of um maple Caramel. Take, take caramel yeah. so it's a bread, bread pudding with ice cream on top and then you get a caramel banana sauce to pour over that oh. was so good normally you're so full by that point you can't manage much of you it you have to fit a bit in because it, you have you to try have it to. so good so those are our top 10 i am going to quickly go through honorable mentions because <laughs> we didn't actually manage to fit everything in obviously in top 10 and there were some that very nearly made the list yeah. so san and hell in san and hell that was yeah. really good in the mexico really pavilion good. now the food is not necessarily my thing i don't love mexican food but i love that restaurant the yeah. atmosphere is yeah. something else yeah for sure um you've got to try it just because it's amazing unless you really don't like mexican food because it's yeah, traditional I'd, mexican but yeah i wouldn't if i if someone had given me this food and said you know where is this from I don't know that my first guess would have been mexican not what you had it was like quite it, it was like a stuffed pepper meaty um stuffed with pulled pork yeah and then battered but it yeah it's yeah. traditional mexican not oh, tex-mex really nice. so if you don't really like nice. that then maybe avoid and yeah. um, i hear very mixed reviews about it some people really don't like it um but we really enjoyed it yeah. but the food is not really necessarily good. my my thing um then also um sci-fi dining oh, theater so this good. so nearly made <laughs> the list so because good, we loved it but we just couldn't fit everything in um sci-fi dining theater is at um, hollywood studios it's so so fun you sit and eat in cars it's watching brilliant. um the big screen it's like basically it's being in a drive-in yeah. and yeah it's so fun it's quite dark <laughs> in there so you do really feel like you're outside yeah you really do um, and the temperature in there is made to feel like you're outside as well it's not freezing cold no but, but it's oh it's yeah it's great. so so fun a little bit expensive again for what it is which is effectively kind of burgers and fries and that type of yeah. thing although they do have other options yeah. there uh but just go and experience such it a because great, it's a very a very place. unique experience yeah. Yeah, I didn't just have that. anything bad the no. entire trip. I no. don't remember one thing that no. I ate and thought, oh, that wasn't very good. Everything we had was good. Um, so it was a very, very good food food trip, this yeah. trip. Um, so yeah, we just thought we wanted to do that because I know, like I say in the vlogs, a lot of the information that's usually there is missing because of the format that I've done. So we might do another one of these just talking about resorts and maybe some other information. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you would like to see or if you've got ideas about specifically what you want us to talk about that you feel is lost in the vlogs. Definitely comment below because we're more than happy to relive our trip, relive our trip and talk <laughs> about whatever you want. So, She's booked again. Yes. I've not 
got oh, another booking because I'm moving house this year so yeah. that's got to be important I hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did please give it a thumbs up and also if you're not subscribed definitely hit the subscribe button because I have a lot of other videos um, about dining at Disney about food restaurant overviews I will link a playlist below of all the videos I have that have anything to do with dining and food um, and there's a lot of them <laughs> and um, thank you for watching hope you're having a great day and we'll see you in the next video bye, bye. guys